Hello there from uh, Drumhead in our uh, Drumhead studio here and this is uh, another in our series of special guest lessons and today again we have the rather amazing and slightly hard hitting <laughs> Mr Russ Gilbrook uh, who today is going to talk about uh, his, his way of thinking about hands and how we use our hands and wrists um, to, to play the drums really so over to you. Yeah, hi Mike, thank okay. you for inviting me on this fantastic show. Nice. Um, yeah, this is basically over my experience of uh, a lot of years Yeah. Um, that I feel as though it may help some of the drummers out there. Mm -hmm. um, obviously there's different ways to hold the sticks, there's no right or wrong way. The whole mm -hmm. idea of this is to try and get as much speed, power, control, dynamics as possible. Yep. And if we struggle in those areas, then obviously we've got to look at the only thing that holds the sticks, which are your hands. Completely. Now, I believe in more wrist than fingers. Okay. Uh, so I tend to think that you can get more results um, quickly if you just have one thing to think about, which is the wrist coming up and down. Okay. <clears throat> so if we uh, think about that, for the moment, the wrists have to be really, really loose yeah. for that. Now, what I tend to do is, I, in the start position, I throw the stick down and pull it back to the start position. Mm -hmm. So it's basically one movement doing that, rather yeah. than down, up, down, up. So that's what sort of people would term as the free stroke, possibly, sort of a free stroke movement. And it's I suppose so, Because yeah. you're, you're just throwing it down, it's coming back on its own. Yeah. You're letting... That's yeah. right, yeah. So I don't really let the stick, uh, you know, I don't do this kind of thing with it, oh, okay. okay? What I'm right. doing is I'm only controlling it for that eight inches, if you like. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like uh, if, if flicking paint off. Right. So if I'm, if I'm doing that just with my uh, wrist only, yeah. so I hold the stick and I do the same thing. Now, the good thing about that mm -hmm. is you can do it as a ghost note. And as we all know, ghost notes are only coming up about an inch off the, the head. Mm -hmm. So you can't implement the fingers. As soon as I implement fingers, it now throws the stick um, to eight inches, if you like. Yeah. You see what I mean? Okay. So you can't play a ghost note with your fingers. So you may mm -hmm. as well try and use the wrist there. So that's just, the, so that what you're doing there it's just purely Pure wrist, wrist movement. That's all purely it is, wrist, wrist movement. Yeah. The fingers are there just as a really a support mechanism. Yeah. Now, the reason why I go on about it is because that's just one thing to think about. So yeah. it works on a ghost note, it works slightly lighter side, the lighter side, and it works right the way through. Yeah. Plus also, you know, you can get plenty of speed out of it. There's not yeah. many gigs really where you're going to have to play faster than that. No. So it gives you one thing to think about. Mm -hmm. It's not the only way, of course it isn't, but mm -hmm. I just found that it worked better for me to just simplify things down and just get this looseness with the wrists. Yeah, because generally you tend to find out if you watch loads and loads of videos that people talk about speed and with drumming, as soon as they, and I know you're going to disagree, as soon as they talk about speed, it's like, oh, it's going to be finger control. It's going to be fingers. Right. Whereas, as you can see there, you can get pretty much all the speed you're going to need all from the speed you need from yeah. there. And yeah. don't get me wrong, the fingers yeah. at um, a certain point, because they're supporting the stick, yeah. it's physics. You know, it does become a point where the, the stick is rebounding, a yeah. bit like a, a ball when you're doing this with a ball on the ground. Yeah. It comes a point where the motion itself is going to work itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fingers, you can end up pulling the fingers in rather than letting them support the stick. Because, yeah. you know, if, if I'm going to if I'm gonna play, say, uh, double strokes with my three fingers out, they're not doing this, mm -hmm. yeah, because I'm not using fingers. They're able, they're able to still work the mm -hmm. stick. It's just, it's very uncomfortable and I can't support the stick. Yeah. So, I'm saying that the wrist really should be the, the prominent thing in the technique. So it, it allows people to think, oh great, I haven't necessarily got to start thinking of the drop and catch for the double stroke, yeah. which is very, yeah. very difficult. Yeah. That's why there's you know, thousands of drummers that have trouble with it. Yeah. I'm just using one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm using the one method to play my doubles. Plenty of power, plenty of clarity, the yeah. same as the singles, yeah. doubles. 
Singles, doubles. So I'm um, one method fits all. Yeah. Um, and that's just my take on it. And how would you, uh, if, if, you know, if a lot of uh, sort of people starting to play the drums are watching this, what? How would you suggest to practice to get the sort of speed that you've got? Did you have different? Very slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. <laughs> the whole idea is you must yeah. put on. Yeah. I just happen to have one with me. Uh, a click, because yeah. you must have a reference of time. Yeah. As drummers, timing is everything for us. We've mm -hmm. got to have a reference all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and and through the years of practice and hard work, the inbuilt clock. Mm -hmm. it should transfer itself over, but mm -hmm. you must have a reference of time. So I would always start, I'll, the secret for me is, can I produce, this is the only time I want people to play like a robot. Consistency <laughs> okay, yeah, is the yeah. key. Can I produce the same clarity beat, the same um, velocity beat at that tempo? Mm -hmm. Now if I can do that for a minute, now I'm moving up, yeah. but only move the BPM up, maybe two or three BPM. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to put us, if you move it up too fast, you're going to put a strain on your technique, and then we've got this thing going on. Yeah. Right? So this has to maintain, how, even if you just did this, how loose that wrist is, is the feeling I have yeah. when I'm there. Because generally, and, and a lot of, lot of people do this, a lot of kids that I teach, and well, older people, that you, you sort of, as soon as you speed up, you tense up. You tense up, correct? Yeah. So you've got you've got to actually think, stay and relaxed. And do you know why they tense up? Um, I'd like you to tell me. Right. The reason yeah. why people <laughs> tense up is because they're now putting the strain level yeah. on their technique. Okay. So it's a bit like the water level rising here. Mm -hmm. We need the water level down here. So if that's as fast as I go and I tense up when I go faster, yeah. that's incorrect. Yeah. I need to keep it here and just put it up a couple of BPM so there's not a strain on it, mm -hmm. and practice that for a minute, yeah. and practice that for a minute, and practice that for a minute, yeah? yeah? And then that way, the correct technique moulds itself in, and you okay. haven't got to think about it, you've only got to learn it once. Yeah. This is a great thing about the correct technique. <laughs> yeah. You learn it once only, you haven't got to revisit it. Yeah. So once you nail this, and you nail that, you have to nail them together, now you can forget it, yeah, yeah? and that's you move it. on. <laughs> yeah. And that's, to me, this is one half of um, drumming, because you is know that, my feelings. Is that because some Throw the <laughs> rudiments in the bin! <laughs> Throw them in the bin! What are the main parts of drumming? Singles, Singles and, and doubles! doubles. <laughs> yeah. Now... So I'd actually move back then, just before. <laughs> well, I get so excited, because I'm very passionate about it, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the hardest thing for people is time to allocate for correct practice. It's yeah. so difficult for people to allocate enough time properly yeah. and practice. Well, think of it as a block of flats. Mm. If the foundation isn't good, it yeah. doesn't matter what floor you go up, eventually it's gonna crumble, yeah. eventually. So your foundation are singles and doubles. Mm. That's what it is. A five stroke roll is two, sing uh, two doubles, two singles and doubles. <laughs> hey, I haven't even had a drink yet, but two doubles and a single, <laughs> yeah. right? A paradiddle yeah. is two singles and a double. Yeah. A flam is a quiet single and a loud single. You can go on forever <laughs> with all of them apart from the buzz roll. Yeah. The buzz roll is a different technique. But basically, all the rudiments are uh, a combination of yeah. singles and doubles. So singles and doubles is a foundation. Well, why not practice the foundation? Because yeah. the easier you can play that, the phrases of those rudiments mm -hmm. are easier. I don't need to practice a seven-stroke roll. Mm -hmm. I can play it because my doubles are good. Yeah. I just know the phrase, I play it. It becomes yeah. easy. Yeah. Yeah. So I completely got better, quicker, and um, not that speed is everything, mm -hmm. but I, I felt more confident and um, my ability became better because I started focusing on singles and doubles. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, if you only got half hour to practice, yeah. right? Let's just take 10 seconds. Yeah. That's about 10 seconds, right? Okay. That's quite a long time to be playing just that. Yeah. Well, just imagine if you did that for 15 minutes mm. every single day. I'm telling you now, your, your singles, your singles mm. will start to get really, really good, right? And your doubles, <laughs> yeah, because we've got to move on the second half of drumming, which is doubles. Yeah. Now, we don't, we mustn't do this business. Sound familiar? So yeah. what are you saying we shouldn't do there? We shouldn't that, do that. Yeah, I know, but what are you saying we shouldn't do in terms of 
you know. Yeah, this. Yeah. When, when you throw down the stick yeah. and you allow the second uh, beat to bounce. Yeah. No. What we're after, I mean, there is a technique where you do that, mm -hmm. but th th that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying yeah. to get clarity of our double strokes sounding like our singles. Yeah. Two, you can see this. Look, there's no false. I haven't got a rabbit up my arm or anything. <laughs> there's cameras um, everywhere. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> is there or is there not two wrist movements? Okay. Right, well, if there's two wrist movements, it's going to produce two identical beats. Right. Right. So, so rather than bouncing it, you're playing Correct. every single... Look! And again, oh, yeah. turning yourself into a shuffle. Yeah. Yes, a double stroke, <laughs> when it gets quicker, turns itself into a shuffle. <laughs> Magic, this. Right? So there's a double, yeah? And that's why those beats sound like singles. Yeah. The clarity of the double is what we're after. Mm -hmm. Um... And so that's the hardest one to practice, by the way. The that's, uh, that's when I when I was a kid, doubles were, were, were the thing that I just I got to the point where I stopped practicing because I found them so difficult. Yeah, but has anyone told you to do two wrist movements? No. Well, I, I the, the problem was I had loads of people telling me to do different things. There you go. And that's um, that goes back to what you were saying about thinking about one thing and doing it in one way, maybe. Correct. Yeah, because if you try, if you think, oh, I'm not quite doing it this way. Because some people say, oh, you start with a little drop it and then you control the drop and then, you, and then you've got the bouncing with the finger. Correct. And, yeah. and the thing is, what I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not putting them down at all because, no. as I said, there are some fantastic drummers out there with all kinds of different techniques and yeah. that's fine. Yeah. I'm just trying to put my take on that sped my process up mm -hmm. and might help some people out there. One size fits all as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. I've only got one thing to think about. Soft wrists. Yeah. And... Yes, towards the end there, my fingers, uh, the support mechanism, are probably working a little bit, okay? okay? But they're not necessary. You can see, can you see the two wrist movements? Like, yeah. Can't you? It's, it's just soft wrists. Mm. And as I said, how much speed do you want? We're after yeah. the clarity of the double beat. That's what we want. We want that double beat, even down here. Yeah, you can't mm. play that with fingers, can mm. you? What's that? What was my argument? Fingers? <laughs> you can't do ghost notes with fingers because the stick, this bit's only moving like an eighth of an inch. How can your fingers work that? Yeah. <laughs> Write it on a postcard and send it here. <laughs> right, so, where were we? Singles and doubles. Yeah, so yeah. that's basically it. Now. Yeah, yeah. So the way you're doing them then, thinking of just going back over that, yeah. makes it easier to get the second note of the double as loud as the first note. Correct. Because most of the time, that's what you hear. You, yeah, because people uneven. do this. They do one wrist movement, yeah. as I said, one wrist movement and a, and a bounce. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And also, with the drop and catch, I've, I've, I've had this conversation with hundreds of drummers because mm -hmm. it fascinates me, and when they hear me warm up or I hear them warm up, mm. I can't wait to get over there in case I'm missing something because mm -hmm. even I want to learn and get better. Right? Always, yeah. Um, even Kenny Aronoff has taken this off me. He mm -hmm. loves it as well. Um, is I forgot what I was going to say. Then. <laughs> it's the same, about the second, second beat when I see yeah. the drop and catch. Yeah. When I see people do drop and catch, when they get, come on, get it louder. They they're doing this, mm. right? Whoa! Look at that! Let that baby go! <laughs> Right, so... Chances are you're not going to need much more speed than that, I wouldn't imagine. What, for what gig? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, In the real world. Yeah, there's not going yeah. to be much musicality and uh, fear involved, is there? Yeah. Like, um, so, obviously, five years down the line, yeah. when you've mastered this... <laughs> hey! How, um, how long, actually, that's, good, that's a good point, because when, you, when, when you know, people are starting to work on the double, <laughs> how... If you put a reasonable amount of practice in, how long would you say it would take to master well, doubles? That's, <laughs> it's the, I, mean, it's, I know it's a very opening question. And a million dollar question, yeah, million dollar that, questions. because first of all, you've got someone's natural ability. Yeah. Then you've got how much time they put in. Now, yeah. I've heard this before. I've done an hour's practice. No, you haven't. Yeah. You walked in at one o'clock. Yeah. By the time you mess around and everything like that, it was 10 past. Mm -hmm. Then you got yourself a cup of tea, sat mm. down at 25 past and walked out at quarter to two. Mm. So you've done 20 minutes in an hour, yeah. right? You've, you can only get out what you put in. You yeah. must have... Why do I keep referring to this? I've been touched it once. <laughs> um, it's good though, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, this... 
has to be. Yeah. Always do the left hand as well because yeah. I don't want people thinking that uh, yeah, I'm bullshitting them. Mm -hmm. I'm not. You have to balance. It's called balance. Of course, We've got yeah. left and right arms. And we always... Only as good as your weakest side. Well, you don't want a weakest side, do yeah. you? You mustn't have a weak side because it's half of drumming. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. don't want to be doing... Do, 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 That's rubbish. No one wants that. Nah. Yeah, so <laughs> we, we can't have this unless we want to play that yeah. because the left hand's weak. So yeah. we have to slow the right hand down to catch up with the weak hand. Well, so you have to do more with your left hand you than do. your right, don't you? I used it's to obviously... spend more. Yeah. And also I used yeah. to do this, you know, watching your favourite programme. Every time people watch their favourite programme, it's half hour long. Yeah. For goodness sake, half hour long. It's gone in the blink of an eye. Yeah. Half hour practice, yeah. right? Cup of tea, practice. Watch the TV. Oh yeah, that's good, yeah. Oh, yeah. A cup of tea, a cup of tea. Right, oh, eat with this hand. Eat with this hand, cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea. That's what I used to do. Yeah, yeah. It might be a bit annoying, right? <laughs> but, you know, it's drums. You took the drums up, exactly, you've got to yeah. suffer it. Like everyone else. Not as annoying as this, is it? <laughs> How annoying is that? <laughs> right, so. <laughs> um, as you can see. I quite like that, though. I absolutely. <laughs> I, I, but I adore this drums. And I'm, the reason yeah. why I'm, people say, Christ Almighty, what's the matter with him? Yeah. Well, it's because I'm so passionate about and excited that this kind of thing really spurred my technique on, yeah. accelerated it. I can guarantee that if you did it properly like this, yeah. with just a wrist movement, I will guarantee, I could guarantee, yeah. that half the time you'd reach a, the, the, the level that you want than other techniques. Yeah. I'm not dissing it, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying if you think about it, if I give you one thing to learn with one page that deep that said singles, mm -hmm. doubles, just concentrate on that and then play like that, how good would you be? Yeah, because yeah. within half an hour, you've got 15 minutes on singles yeah. and 15 minutes on doubles. I've just proven how long 10 seconds is. Yeah. Come on, people. It's not hard. you just got to put the time in. Got to put the time in. And yeah. you've got... Do you know the best teachers in the world are yourselves? Do you know right. that? You go for a lesson, right? You have yeah. your lesson. And you might not have a lesson for another week or a fortnight. Now, you don't see the teacher within that time frame. No. Nope. So, when you're practising, if you're doing it wrong, mm -hmm. you're doing the whole practice session wrong. That's why the best teacher is yourself to go, no, I'm not doing it, no, it mustn't speed <clears> up, no, the wrist isn't there, no, it's not even, no, the, there's accents, I don't need that. You've got to be disciplined and focused so that... Yeah. It's like a machine. Well, you've, that, got to, you've got to be honest with yourself, haven't you? Because be so honest. many times, you know, you, you get people come back and they say, yeah, I've practised. Yeah. But, you know, they've been playing the singles but they're not in time. So they're just trying to play as fast as they can. That's right. And it's just really uneven. And if it's uneven, you're just going to learn uneven, an uneven way of playing it, aren't People you? are fooling themselves all the time. Yeah. Everyone wants to play fast, but yeah. they play fast badly. Yeah. No one wants to employ the drummer that's nearly good. Yeah. You know what I mean? They want to employ the drummer that plays great drums. In time, And yeah. what you've got to try and do, you've got to be honest with yourself, and it's not about speed. It's mm -hmm. about moulding the correct technique the correct technique will deliver speed. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to be patient with it. And practice and playing is two different things. A playing is a product of your practice. Yeah. And you have to change the difference. You have to go in and do practice and come out with a result. That's the idea of practice. Even if it's one BPM, watch, I'm going to turn it on in a minute. Uh, one <laughs> BPM, you start off at 100, it goes to 101. Yeah. That's an improvement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. the great thing about a metronome, isn't it? You can see, again, this was my problem when I was younger, that I used to practice without a met metronome. Uh, and you don't think you're improving. But at least with a metronome, even if you've got one BPM a week, you see it. you're improving, aren't you? Yeah. So surely that must be a good idea. It's Again, a great idea, because yeah. what you've got to do is... It, yeah, I believe that it's like, any, it's like a, uh, anything physical you learn. I play golf to yeah. a good level. I'm a five handicap, right? It's very good. But, <laughs> you know, the professionals, yeah. they'll work on an aspect of their swing until it's second nature. Yeah. You play the bass... You're working on a, a technique until it becomes second nature. Yeah. But really, those techniques are boring. That's mm -hmm. why people don't like People want to play, but mm -hmm. playing's no good. This is boring. But if you get to love boring, mm -hmm. you then get good quick. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. <laughs> you're no, now you practising the right way. Practising the right way! <laughs> singles, doubles, singles and doubles! Right? Now, yeah. once you've got that together, of yeah. course... 
The hard thing is we're introducing dynamics, yeah. which is another form of um, uh, technique in itself. Mm -hmm. As so far as if we're playing there. Now, the accent, because I only believe there's two dynamics in drumming as mm -hmm. well, people. I know that we play more, but essentially there's two. If you put on your favourite records yeah. or your favourite drummers, you'll hear the accents and you'll hear all the other notes. Yeah. Right? So, you've only got two things to think about there! <laughs> right? So, the accent has to be one volume, consistent, and the ghost notes, one volume. Whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. And that is our melody as drummers. Yeah. If I go... Or I go... Now you can lash onto that. And they're the phrases that go in the head. That's how you get your drum fills. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's another thing. Yeah. When people talk about drum fills, the amount of times people turn around and say, um, oh, I'm stale with drum fills. I'm stale with drum fills. Yeah. Do you know why? The main reason why they're stale with drum fills... The only main reason why you're stale with drum fills <laughs> is that you're frightened of doubles. Because the double stroke immediately puts the weak side on the downbeat. Doubles on toms. Oh, my oh. God. Yeah, so we go a bar. Yeah. So I put a double in the end. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Now my weak side is forced on the downbeat. Mm -hmm. People, oh, 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 and now they shy away. Well, if you shy away, how are you going to get any better? Yeah. yeah. And also, the paradiddle's in there. Yeah. But is it a single paradiddle, double, or triple? Paradiddle. Yeah. All I did was put a double in. Yeah. So, see what I did there? It's all singles and doubles, and your, your rudiments will find their way out. You don't got to go, right, I played a flan tap the other day, and I'm mm -hmm. determined to put it in on that field. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. We have to be fluid between singles and doubles. Yeah. And the colorations and the stickings that you do will draw out phrases and melodies, and now you start to grow with all your fields. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Yep. Do you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> now, repeat it back to me. <laughs> Singles and doubles. <laughs> so, is that the first lesson over? Is that the first be... lesson? Is that enough material? I'll see you in three years' time. <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll move on to another lesson in a minute. But thank you for that lesson, Russ. <laughs> That's been brilliant. A lot to think about. But, yeah, amazing. We'll uh, speak to you soon. Lovely. Cheers. <laughs>